Correct. All right. Samson, thank you. Mm. Um, we in the NDC tolerate divergence. And so I respect the divergent opinions of my co-panelists around this table. But you see, the problem with us as a country is because of the hypocrisy in our commentary on national issues. The hypocrisy and the double standards is just too much. It is a fact that on 16th January 2016, the presidential candidate of the New Patriotic Party then in Kumasi at a national delegates conference of the MPP made a solemn promise to the people of Ghana that if elected, he will not operate a family and friends government and proceeded to add that his wife will not distribute contracts under him as president. Nobody has been able to deny that, press, that promise or that fact. Now, when President Okufado made that promise, was he engaged in propaganda masturbation like Mr. Bako suggests? Was he expecting President Mahama to appoint his enemies into office like they are arguing around this table? Was that symptomatic of defective legal thinking like Gary is suggesting? Because the president is also a lawyer. And yet he was talking about family and friends. Somebody's wife distributing contracts and that he will not do that. Is was, his he, wife was, he, was he, I will come there, so allow me to flow. No, answer, answer was he question, exhibiting, no, 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 no. you question. don't ask the question, so allow me to make my point that was here when you were speaking. Mm -hmm. Was he exhibiting defective legal thinking? Was he engaged in propaganda masturbation? Was he engaged in an amorphous, useless exercise? Like Mr. Bentel is suggesting? Let us be principled. Let us be consistent. They were in this country when the president made that promise. We didn't hear them say the things they are saying around this table. 